Hello everyone, today is October 25th, 2022. Hope everyone is feeling fantastic wherever you are. Thank you for visiting my channel and I hope you enjoyed the following information that I'm going to share with you in this video. Is there, let's get started. Is there a magic food that can cure diseases and extend lifespan? Of course not. But according to scientific evidence, spirulina primary objective is precisely that. Okay, spirulina is a green bluish algae that comes in either a pill form or powder form, a greenish tincture. Uh, tincture. It is the most concentrated nutrient dense food known to man and it is considered a super superfood. Okay, imagine a food that can regulate blood sugar, blood pressure, and cholesterol. It can relieve inflammation. It can help fight against life-threatening diseases such as um, cancer, Alzheimer's, heart disease, stroke, <clears throat> by providing potent antioxidant activity. It protects the liver and the kidneys. It removes radiation from the body. It improves the immune system. It relieves allergies and asthma. It helps your eyes and brain. It even helps you lose weight. It also increases the microflora in the intestines to help digestion. Okay. Very potent. Yeah, spirulina is about 70% complete and high quality digestible protein. It has more beta carotene than any other whole food. It is rich in B vitamins, trace elements, minerals, chlorophyll, enzymes, and much more. And it is one of the richest food sources in other beneficial nutrients such as polyunsaturated fat called gamma-linoic acid, GLA for short. GLA plays a significant role in improving the body, body functions. It has gained importance in the last four decades for having a positive effect on most chronic diseases, including cancer, diabetes, heart disease, arthritis, Alzheimer's, and much more. Spirulina also increases VO2 max. It provides athletes with long-lasting energy, it reduces recovery time, and it definitely increases VO2 max in studies. VO2 max measures cardiorespiratory fitness, a critical and arguably the main marker for longevity, mitochondrial function, and or cause mortality. Okay. Increasing your VO2 max can help you live longer, and it appears that spirulina can help improve your VO2 max. Now, comparing, let's, comparing spirulina with other foods shows just how nutrient dense it is. <clears throat> For example, spirulina has about 300% more calcium than whole milk. It has 2300% more iron than spinach. It has 3900% more beta carotene than carrots. It has 375% more protein than tofu. Now, if you compare the phytonutrient levels, it is 31 times more potent than blueberries, 60 times more potent than spinach, and 700 times more potent than apples. Talk about a superfood. These numbers are incredible, and nutrient-dense is an understatement. <clears throat> but wait, wait, wait a second. I'm just getting started here. You gotta listen to this. Spirulina is so nutrition important that NASA used it as the go-to dietary supplement for astronauts on space missions. Check out this 2022 study on spirulina and how it benefits your body. Check out, check out the graph. It is simply incredible. Look at, look, at, look at this. Spirulina is like a DC's Wonder Woman, a superhero superfood beneficial for almost your entire body. Now, in this 21 study right here, NASA highlighted that one kilogram of spirulina was in some respects nutritionally equivalent to fruits and vegetables amounting to a thousand kilos, making it easily the most nutritious concentrated food in the world. Let me repeat this. One kilogram of spirulina is as nutritionally potent as 1,000 kilograms of fruit and vegetables combined. That's crazy. That's a thousand to one ratio. I mean, is there a better definition of a superfood? <clears throat> but wait, I still am not finished. And get ready to be shocked. Spirulina can cut mortality rates 
by 50% from all causes. Spirulina contains a protein called C-phycocyanin, which mimics bile acids and moderately increases bilirubin levels in your blood, simulating a condition called Gilbert's syndrome. Gilbert's syndrome is a clinically benign disorder in people with genetically elevated free bilirubin levels. Don't be alarmed by this, of course. This syndrome will not kill you. Instead, and according to this PubMed study, Gilbert's syndrome reduces mortality rate from all causes by as much as 50%. And now th this 21 study provides further support and states the following. I'll read it for you. I'll read the excerpt for you. Human health conditions with chronic elevations <clears throat> of unconjugated bilirubin, such as the benign genetic variant Gil Gilbert syndrome, are associated with a half halving of total mortality, suggesting that a moderate enhancement of bilirubin's ph physiological actions may be markedly protective. By taking spirulina, you will have higher levels of bilirubin <clears throat> in your blood, which has unique antioxidant anti-inflammatory effects. Okay, similar to Gilbert's, Gilbert's syndrome, spirulina can reduce mortality, reduce disease, disease rates, and of course provide plenty of health benefits. No supplement or food exists that can reduce the mortality rate by 50%. But guess what? Spirulina can. Will you take spirulina? As for myself, I take 5 grams twice per day, and I have for years, in my personal longevity drink, which I will share with you soon in my other videos. 10 grams per day is the recommended, recommended optimal dose for humans, which is found in the literature and in studies. Okay? Maybe you are aware, <clears throat> maybe you are aware of spirulina's longevity benefits, maybe not. But now you definitely are. I hope you liked this information. Give it a thumbs up for the Google algorithm and subscribe for more interesting videos in the future. Have a wonderful day and see you in my next video. Stay healthy, live a long life. The road to 120. That's what this channel is about. The road to 120. See you soon. Have a great day.